This week, we're going to go over the primary roller replacement. Next step is uh, to put the new rollers in in the spider. Um, the kits that I've been using thus far, I guess are SP1. I'm not sure what SP1 is. It's just something I found on eBay. It's a fairly inexpensive kit. I'm not going to lie. This will be the third one of these kits I'm putting in. I haven't had real great luck with them going in very nicely um, but I do get them in and they seem to work what I've run into is the the plastic washers for either side of the roller they uh, I don't know if they're too big or if my spiders are um, I don't know wore out but I'll get the roller in I'll push, I'll get the pin pressed in, and the roller doesn't seem like it wants to roll very nicely. It it rolls really hard. Um, so I've had to actually take and open up some of these openings on these spiders, which isn't something I like to do. You know, these clutches are balanced. Um, I don't know. If you guys know of better kits, let me know. Like I said, these are relatively inexpensive, so I've been... Um, using them but willing to try other options what I do to put these in um, I go back to my my trusty kit you know just a socket for removal we actually won't need to use that now um, but I got a couple just random bolts that I'll use to help push those pins in but really to start um, what I'm gonna do is get these rollers opened up and just set them in there with the washers and see how everything appears to fit see if I gotta do any monkeying around um, in order to get the rollers in nicely. So how I go about starting this is I'll just pick a side um, that appears let's say the cleanest to get this pin started. I'll just uh, press it in by hand so it just stays and then I'm just using my vise again. This is a, a slow process because you want everything to go in smooth and nice. Otherwise, if stuff's not lined up perfect, uh, the pins can jam and you end up pushing material out of the spider and it makes a mess and we don't want that. So I'll get it started just like that lay it up here now is when I want to check my roller so you got your roller and then two of the plastic uh, washers and I'll just set them in there like so just to do rough side of the washer will go up against the spider, the smooth side will go up against the roller. I guess just to kind of test fit them. Everything kind of fell into place pretty nice. Um, I'll use some small picks to kind of help position things nicely. line things up as best I can. It's just snug enough you can kind of move stuff around. 
and it'll stay in place for you for the most part. But you want to get everything really lined up before you push the pin through because everything's so tight that if you push the pin through and one of your washers are off it's actually gonna it's gonna cut that washer but as it pushes it through the roller it'll screw up your fiber bushing because those are uh, they're not very durable on on this these particular ones um, so I've had where I, I'll push one in it'll be tight I'll push the pin back out in the the bushing and the roller actually be screwed up a little bit and so again I'm just taking my time pressing this real slowly making sure everything lines up nice as I'm going in just to try to uh, save the integrity of that fiber bushing So as you can see I got the pin most of the way in. I'm just trying to line up the washer on this side. Um, you're not going to be able to see in there but it's uh, it's just sticking up just enough that that pin will catch it when it comes through so I'm trying to get it lined up how I'd like. I think I got it there. Mm -hmm. So once I get it to that point, um, I got the, the pin pushed in flush to the spider. Obviously you can see it's not all the way in on this side. That's when I'll take just my small random bolt. Line that up inside here. Just press that in so that it's even. It's flush to the inside of that corner bore on both sides. Roller's pretty tight, but uh, it does appear to roll, so I'd say that one went okay. That's good. Um, it rolls smooth. I didn't screw up the bushing on the way in. Um, it's tight, but that's okay. There's no play back and forth, obviously, because of the new washers. That's what you want. So now at this point is when uh, I'll push new buttons in. Um, we'll do the same method there. There's a, there's a rough side and a smooth side to that, that button, so I'm going to put the smooth side out um, because that's actually going to ride up against these two surfaces here on the movable sheave. These just kind of push into place best you can if you can. Um, Just tap them into place. Try to get them started.
and I'll just give them a squeeze with the vise. Push them into place like that. So we got one roller in, one set of buttons in. Now we can move on and do that two more times. So there you go guys. That covers the installation of the roller and the buttons themselves. Um, what I went over there was just one of them. Obviously you got three on the spider you got to do. Uh, so you just re rinse and repeat that two more times and then you'd have new rollers. Uh, it's important to have new rollers and rollers not hanging up. Uh, hung up rollers will ruin your weights. Um, your, fishing, your shifting efficiency will go down and performance will suffer. So make sure you're checking your clutches, going through your clutches and replacing parts that are worn or need to be replaced. If you liked this video, there should be a button down here. It's red, it starts with an S, ends with an upscribe. Hit that. Keep up with what we're doing. If you got questions, comment on the videos. I do watch the comments as much as a person shouldn't watch the comments, but you guys have all been really good. Um, let me know what you think of what I'm doing. If you want to reach out to me personally, um, you can find my social media stuff uh, Longton Motor, at Longton Motorsports. Um, if you're looking for parts, used parts, eBay, same thing, Longton Motorsports. If you got other specific stuff you're looking for, reach out to me. I have been trying to help people out with um, specific, specific, specific jobs they're working on. Rebuilding clutches, looking for clutch parts. Uh, I don't have all the parts that I have listed, but if there is something specific you have and you think I might have it, let me know. I will say I got a lot of Articat stuff. I got a bunch of player stuff now too, older player stuff, wet chassis stuff. So reach out any way you want or can. Find out if I got what you need so you can get your stuff back together and working. Um, that's all. Thank you.